when I got my first tattoo, I was probably 16. I want to say 16 or maybe younger. I found a shop that does uh, underage tattoos and like my homegirl went to get one and then I was like, oh. I think it was like twenty dollars too, which is like even worse, you know. And it was a real tattoo shop, you know. It wasn't like you know your partner's like you know basement. It was like a legit tattoo shop doing underage twenty dollar tattoos. When I did get my first tattoo, I got an ice cream cone on my neck. When I turned eighteen, I just decided I wanted to go and get one and I drew it myself and got it on my arm. Most redneck spot you could get a tattoo. My next tattoo was Yellow Wolf Old English on my forearms, you know. It was really corny looking back, like my first steps into getting tattoos and then my appreciation for it grew into a whole nother level. For some reason I thought like I had long hair so like it would be the easiest tattoo to hide but it wasn't but I, I got like four tattoos before my mom found out and then she found out about all four at the same time where she was like so pissed there's nothing special to have it it's just not you know there's nothing special to have it but what is special is what you got where where it's at, what it is, what it represents is special. I really like my first tattoo of the ice cream just because like I was so young. I don't know, it meant so much to me like getting a neck tattoo. I felt like I was kind of like setting the pace of my life. You know, they always say like only artists can get like hella tattoos and get away with it. So I think like at that moment I was like deciding my fate. And um, everybody wants to feel that. But to take it to the next level, it's kind of like, you know, I really am in this, you know, and they put you in that club kind of, you know, like, I'm here, with, I'm here with the rest of them who's made that commitment. I think Travis Barker is a perfect example of uh, success and being fully covered in tattoos. He's one of my inspirations for tattoo art, you know, tattoos. My least favorite will probably be like this mess of a tattoo. I got this like girl's name tatted. She was like my best friend. I got hella mad and like covered her name. <laughs> I covered her name with a word. So like you should never cover letters with letters. Like I don't know why. This is the same $20 underage spot. So of course they're not gonna give me a good tattoo advice. It's permanent, it's forever. You know, and, and people throw around tattoos. Like, you have to invest money into something. It's gonna be there forever. I've thought about, I've actually thought about like, you know, what if all this doesn't happen? And then I'm like, who gives a fuck, you know?